Welcome to this very special 4th of July edition of Wrestling With. I am Gold Dizzy, and today we are wrestling with America, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, today we celebrate our country's Independence Day, and what better way to celebrate than to celebrate America and pro wrestling together. So in this video, today I'm going to highlight some of the greatest all-American gimmicks that pro wrestling has given us. Now what better way to start this list than to talk about the wrestlers who made their name with the all-American gimmick. How about we start with the biggest name of all, Hulk Hogan. That's right, the immortal Hulk Hogan. He made his mark, he made his legacy, he made his name by saying his prayers, taking his vitamins, training. He had the All-American theme song. It was called Real American. He had the USA gimmick down to a T. It's what made him who he is today. And so I start today's list with Hulk Hogan. He also later on became Mr. America. Do you guys remember that guy? Yeah, I sure do. Now how about we talk about Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Now here's a guy that truly embodies the spirit of what it feels is to be an American citizen. He comes to every match with the stars and stripe on his shoulder. He carries a 2x4. He is yelling ho at the top of his lungs. If that doesn't spell American, I don't know what does. Next, I want to talk about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, a man that has America in his name. He is the common man. He is the blue collar worker of the WWE how about we talk about the Patriot yeah that's right guys I said the Patriot Del Wilkes does anybody remember this guy I sure do he later on formed a tag team with Marcus Alexander Bagwell called Stars and Stripes I mean it doesn't get more patriotic than that ladies and gentlemen now how about we talk about a current wrestler with an all-American gimmick? <laughs> you guys know who I'm talking about. The all-American American Jack Swagger. Of course, not every wrestler started out with the all-American gimmick. There are some wrestlers who started out one way, but then later on down their career, they decided to change it up a bit. And they decided to, you know... Give thanks to the country that has given them so much opportunity. Let's talk about Mark Calloway, you know, The Undertaker. He later on tried to reinvent The Undertaker gimmick with the American Badass gimmick. It worked out really well for him. How about Lex Luger? Lex Luger, he went to the WWF and started the Lex Express, the journey around America. He body slammed Yokozuna on a aircraft carrier it doesn't get much more american than the lex express and how about the real man's man william regal that's right the real man's man now there's a gimmick that could have went somewhere ladies and gentlemen that's right i said it it could have went somewhere but damn it the wwe dropped the ball yet again now believe it or not there are some wrestlers in today's pro wrestling to actually have a collegiate or Olympic background, if you will. You know, real all-American athletes. You know, let's talk about Kurt Angle, you know, a wrestler who came into the WWE a long time ago as the first ever Olympic gold medalist. I mean, what more can you say about that? Not a damn thing. How about we talk about Bob Backlund? Now, there's a wrestler who came into the WWF in the late 70s and truly took over. He was an All-American collegiate athlete. He wrestled in college. He is an All-American as well, Bob Backlund. He would even later go on in his wrestling career to even say he was going to run for the President of the United States of America. And we can't forget about the Steiner brothers. These guys are all Americans from the University of Michigan. They wrestled in college. Hell, even Rick Steiner still wears the protective headgear to keep from getting the dreaded cauliflower ear. Now, we can't mention 
wrestling with America without mentioning some of the greatest military gimmicks that we've ever seen in pro wrestling. That's right. Does anybody remember Corporal Kirshner? Hell, I sure as hell didn't until I looked him up, but <laughs> there he is. Or how about Sergeant Craig Pitbull Pittman from WCW? Now, this guy was a badass motherfucker, if I do say so myself. And, of course, we can't forget about Sergeant Slaughter, the guy from G.I. Joe, you know, the real American hero. Now, of course, the G.I. Joe gimmick, you know, the military gimmick, didn't always work out the best. You guys remember G.I. Bro? <laughs> Poor Booker T. Now, America, you know, we have a lot of stereotypes, so I can't forget the American stereotypes. You know, you have, of course, you know, America, you know, we are all known for being greedy, for being snobs and all that good stuff. Well, how about I talk about Hunter Hearst Helmsley? There's a snob if I've ever seen one before. Or how about the million dollar man Ted DiBiase, a guy that epitomizes what it's like to be filthy rich and greedy. Of course, you can't forget about JBL. You know, he is the typical Texas tycoon billionaire. And then, of course, of course, we cannot forget IRS. The whole reason we are Americans is so that we can pay our taxes. Last, but certainly not least, we must give thanks to the people who gave us this land that we live on. And those people are the Native Americans. So I say thank you, Chief Yahoo McDaniel. Thank you, Chief J. Strongbow. And thank you, Tatanka, for giving us the soil that we now live on. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions. This is Gold Dizzy. Peace out, guys.